Good morning, welcome to Johnson's Garden Time, Jeremy. This is one of my favorite times of the year when I get out, plant my annuals and perennials, and uh, see what pollinators I can attract to the garden. You know, of course, we've had a lot of people planting, I guess, victory gardens this year, vegetable gardens, but um, saw kind of a, a concept for planting a, a 21st century pollinator victory garden. And that's, you know, victory gardens were, were back in what, World War I, um, planting the, the gardens for, for I think I think they were planting every square foot that they could find to grow food. But you know, people have been planting plants to attract butterflies, bees, hummingbirds, whatever. But you know, it, it really is a, an essential part of our ecosystem, our food supply, our food chain, everything for the pollinators. And as gardeners, we, we can really help out in our own gardens. And one of the, the best things about planting a pollinator garden is what we what the what the the insects used for, for pollinating are the, the flowers. So we get we get to enjoy the, the flowers in the garden while also helping the pollinators. You know, it's not difficult to, to plant a garden that's going to attract pollinators. A lot of our, our plant tags, they're gonna tell you what, what they're gonna attract. You know, I guess for, for to back up a, a second, the, the, the concept is to have something in bloom kind of nearly all the, the time. So we, we've got a wide selection of, of both annual and perennial plants in the in the garden centers that are gonna bloom kind of like clockwork, work every year and um, plant plant things that are gonna kind of cycle through the, the season. And, and it's important to plant some natives, some things that are native to the area, maybe to the Flint Hills. And I love going out there and one of my favorite plants is the butterfly milkweed or the coneflower. They, they're very drought tolerant. They like kind of a drier spot but they do very, very well in our landscape. You know, that, that orange color of the, the butterfly milkweed is, is really one of my favorite flower colors that, that we have. There's uh, a lot of other things, some annuals, some, some perennials as well, but lantana is a great annual heat tolerant that will attract uh, pollinators. Yeah, it, yeah, you're gonna plant it every, every spring, but it, it's tough as nails, loves the, the Kansas heat and summer, really thrives in it. Uh, the, the pintas over here are another annual plant um, or yeah, annual flower, but you know, we're looking for, for flowers that, that they're gonna be able to get in there and, and kind of get, get some pollen from. Okay, so we've also got you know, some herbs in our stores that a great selection of herbs, and then we also have seeds as well. You know, seeds are, are an easy way, fun way for even, you know, have the, the kids at home go out and plant some seeds. They can watch them come up and then we can enjoy our, our pollinator right. garden. Step off your square foot that you, that you want to plant, come to the garden center. We'll help you get something for front, middle, or back of the garden and something that's going to, to attract those to the, the garden. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.